So um, I've been asked to uh, make a video um, about Calcopyrite and Pyrite, some of their differences, and uh, if um, both of them have value, and if so, what is the value? So um, first off, Pyrite and Calcopyrite, they're both sulfide minerals. Um, the key difference is Calcopyrite contains sulfides of copper and iron, and Pyrite contains iron and sulfur. So calcopyrite is naturally found in a variety of ores um, and it can be found in huge masses, in veins, um, little patches amongst your rock. So calcopyrite, um, it, uh, it oxidizes or it can oxidize to several types of oxides um, as well as hydroxides and sulfates when it's exposed to air. Some of the examples like uh, bornite, um, calcite, covalite, and malachite uh, are all um, the end process of that. Pyrite, um, it oxidizes when the air gets moist and um, it generally discharges sulfuric acid. So that's this stuff right here. Um, you can tell it's distinctively cubed um, as opposed to the calcopyrite. So uh, pyrite, uh, this stuff here, it's generally got a pale brassy color um, or metallic luster. Uh, this stuff looks more uh, metallic than brassy to me. And um, you got your calcopyrite, which is also brassy, but it's more of a golden yellowish color. Um, and a lot of times you see some color to it uh, when it oxidizes like that, uh, the blues, and you got the purple hues right there. So uh, calcopyrite... Um, its main use um, is copper. It's got the it, calcopyrite is the main ore of copper, and uh, so it's got a lot more economic value than your pyrites do. However, uh, pyrite is used in the pulp and paper industry. Um, it's used to produce sulfur dioxide, which is used in making of paper. And it's also used um, when manufacturing uh, sulfuric acid. Um, they decompose the pyrite into iron and sulfide, uh, two separate things, iron and sulfide, and then they turn it into sulfur. So both these minerals, um, they're commonly called fool's gold. However, more often than not, um, you can find gold amongst the pyrite and calcopyrite. For instance, uh, one of our mineral properties right now um, has an ore containing pyrite um, amongst quartz and schistose raw, and the gold values on average um, are about 48 grams per ton, which is good. Um, and most of the ore on our other properties has calcopyrite, uh, which contains gold, copper, and along with other minerals like galena, which is the main ore of lead and silver. So uh, if you're out prospecting and you come across this stuff here, your pyrites or your calcopyrites, don't just throw it away. Um, there's several ways of testing. Uh, there's two that we generally use and it's either crushing and panning uh, to find your free milling gold and the more common one that we use is we usually send it into a lab um, like ALS labs or Acme and uh, we get an assay done so we can analyze the whole mineral potential for the entire sample not just the gold. Uh, we generally use a ICP method and a fire assay for gold as well and um, there's several other method, methods you can use, but uh, those are the ones that we generally choose. So I just thought I'd uh, show a couple other samples here. This is um, 
an ore that we've been uh, pulling out by hand right now from uh, one of our properties. It's got potential to open up a larger deposit. We've got uh, a meter wide vein right now that's um, we've chased it for about 40 meters and we've pulled samples off of everywhere and uh, this is the stuff that's come out so it's say good for gold and silver and uh, especially copper and um, so it's got lots of potential and we're going to keep prospecting it and uh, sampling and um, who knows it could open up into a uh, nice little mine so that's all for now um, I hope you liked the video any questions comments don't hesitate to ask and uh, if you like the video also subscribe and share and uh, we'll keep posting videos for you guys thanks